I again. I'm back with some more uh, Magic Gathering. I mentioned this before that I messed around with some other decks. And this was the first one I ever made by myself. I'm real proud of this one, let me tell you. Um, there's 8 million different variations upon this. This is just the one I made myself where it's just all about milling. It's a dumb deck. It very rarely ever wins, but the funny thing is it may win 30% of the time. And I find that maybe 60% of those wins, people quit way before anything happens because it's real annoying to play against and kind of bullshit. But it's a mechanic and magic, so I figured why not I mess with it, and it's all about milling. And if you're unsure what milling is, you'll uh, see here, if it shows it, milling. To mill a card, a player puts the top card of their library into the graveyard, so I try to get nothing but cards that will mill, like this one, or abilities that will make other things trigger. And you've got this one that makes you draw a card and discard it. These are all like, I try to focus along cheap cards again. So I can get out super fast and get this train rolling because there's 60 cards you got to get through. And if you can mill through their deck in time, then you win. Um, so you've got this card for card draw. This one will mill four right off the start. It only costs one mana, so that's great. <clears throat> this card is great for milling as well. Um, it also does death touch in case like, some big thing comes out and you're like, oh fuck, I'm going to die before I get any of this off. This can take care of that if there's enough um, eight cards in the graveyard you can give two, one, and death touch. This is just more removal. Any spells, because anytime you cast anything blue, this enchantment makes them mill two cards. I've got four on the deck. So anytime you play anything that's blue, it'll cause this to trigger. Uh, more counters. More milling, uh, this for more milling as well, and defense, 0-4s, it's just there to like take hits, that's what both of these are for. This is, when I redraw a card, they mill two, so that's kind of why I have this in there as well. Uh, another counter, this to have the mill four cards and get rid of everything in the graveyard, I mean it does kind of counter this card in the deck, but that's fine. The whole point is just getting them to get rid of cards, and then you've got this planeswalker dude that if it ever gets to the point where you can play this he's got uh <clears throat> an ability where you can make these little nightmare guys whenever they attack or block you're going to mill cards uh or you're going to exile cards anything that gets exiled eventually you can play and so on and so forth there's a myriad of counters to this deck it's a bad deck but it's still fun to play so i'll do uh couple of rounds with this and I'll show you probably the most average I'm at with this deck and it loses a lot but it's fun to play it's just funny like I have zero um, hopes or p dreams with this deck and I've just loaded up the game that's why it's taking forever for this stuff to load um, this usually happens when I first get into the uh, game after I've loaded it up. It takes like a surprising amount of time to get the first map to pop up here. So here's hoping. Um, I very rarely play decks like this, so I figured why don't I start with this? And I do have a couple of good cards to start with, but I almost feel like I should hold off playing this card till turn three to get this out because I'll play it once I'll get two milled, and then I'll have this get played, which will make it six. But it all depends on, I guess, what they play. So I'm going to go ahead and not play anything. I'm just going to wait, see what they do. And if there's any... <clears throat> yep, they do have early game pressure. So what I'm going to do, actually, I think I'll be fine with this, is I'm going to play this now. So red, this looks like it's going to be aggro. So what I'm going to do now, yep, okay, so that's another good thing against these is all fours, they soak up a lot of damage, which is perfect. 
so what I'm going to do now is I'll put this, I will have it enter tapped. Yes. So I'll play this once. I'm going to have you mill. Mill four. And then it triggers. So he's going to mill six cards total. And then I'll play it again. And playing it causes him to mill again. So that's a total of eight. And then he's got an escape, which is fine. So now I'm just putting up these O4s for defense. He's probably going to play something that will kill this right off the bat. Nope. Okay. So now it's all just about pinging. I think what I'm going to do for the next one, if I don't get a land, um, is if I do get a land, I'll probably hold off for a counter. So let's see here. This is... Yeah, he can't do any damage extra with that, so I'm just going to go ahead and block. He might do like a... He can do spark. But I'm going to need to actually get some defense up. I did get a land. So what I'm going to do is I'll play Wall of Lost Thoughts, and I'll keep Edson Scatter for whatever comes up next. <clears throat> so he's going to mill again two more cards, and then he'll mill four. Unless he's got an answer for that, and he doesn't, so... get rid of four more and then he's got another exile there so now I'm going to hold off I could play drown secrets now but I want to have this essence scatter for a counter I feel he might get something to really ramp up his dudes on this uh, turn here so we'll see what he plays he might do satyrs cunning for creatures that block which yeah, it's not that great okay he didn't play anything so I think he's going to try to play something off the attack here to get rid of my blockers. Or at least uh, boost up his dudes. So what I think I'm going to do is he can do this multiple times. Which I'm going to go ahead and eat it anyway. So is he going to boost up his goblin dude or is he going to do some magic now? Because I'm going to counter it if he does. Okay, apparently that didn't count. I'm trying to understand how this stuff works sometimes. It's a bit of a pain, because I don't know what... Maybe this is the one I should have done instead of Creature Spell. It's hard understanding this stuff. Maybe I can play it on one of these. We'll see. He's got a bunch of spells here. He's going to try to... Get rid of some guys. He's he's on the clock here. He's got 35 left in his deck now. Okay, so... Nothing happened. Now he's going to ping with his gremlins, I guess. Again, I don't know. Alright, so I can do Aether Gust for an instant now if I wanted to. I'm going to play Drown Secrets. I'm going to keep Aether Gust... And just wait. And whatever he ends up buffing as far as one of his little guys, then I'll probably just end up uh, sending it back to his hand. Alright, so I'm going to probably block what seems to be the biggest issue here. We're going to see what he ends up playing to... Uh, I'll just block the magma. And we'll see what he does. Whatever one he ends up buffing is the one I'll send back to his hand. Alright, so we'll resolve. Resolve. Alright, so... Is he going to buff anything else here? He is. Let's see. Come on. What's he going to do? Alright, so... We're untapping... So now what I'm going to do is go ahead and get rid of the Magmut, causing him to mill four cards. Send that back to his hand. And hopefully... Yeah, I'm pretty much done. I doubt there's very little I can do. Like I said, this is what happens a lot with these games, is I end up just losing. 
there's probably smarter ways I could have played this. Maybe I should have just gone ahead and... Um, I'm going to counter that just off the bat. Make you mill again. Make you mill again. Now I have enough to do didn't say please if he plays something else after this. I mean, I don't know why he's playing anything. He's already won. But I just like playing my cards. We'll just say no. We'll put this here. Other two. And there's, like, I very much ran out of time. I've only gotten down to 17, and he's already won. So I'm just going to go ahead and concede. I mean, there's there might be smarter ways to go about this. There's some other cards I've seen for variations that cause, I guess, the mill ramp to happen much faster. But I don't know. This is the first deck I'm at. I don't know if I feel like I should tinker with it much just because I feel like the first one I made is terrible. I'm just going to leave it as terrible. We're against a person who's chosen balls. What did I get to start with? Well, I can do Thieves' Guild to start. This is in too bad of a hand. <clears throat> so, let's get the Thieves' Guild Enforcer out first. And, let's see here. He'll mold two, then four. Won't be enough to actually make him useful to start with. And that would probably make him vulnerable for removal if it's there. But it also could be a cool play. We'll see if I actually go first. And I don't. So this is, might be uh, that... Whatever the hell that elf is, the 2-1. That's hexproof. Oh, didn't play anything. Alright, so... I'm going to go ahead and play something. And I'm going to tell you, fuck your cards. Alright, so it's a green-white deck. Could be some sort of convoke deck. We'll see. Aether Gust is going to be completely... Well, there's a green, so it's not going to be completely useless. What I am going to do now is Drown Secrets. We'll see if they actually end up getting a ramp of some sort. I need another land. Hopefully I can get it. Alright, so we've got the Centaur going down. Didn't get what I needed, but that's fine. Um, can get this out you to mill put that down and then we're gonna go ahead and do the thieves guild it doesn't trigger drowned secrets that's fine but now he's death touch so that counts counters the cavalier so you're gonna get death touch if you go with it so it's pretty good that's why I like it in this is that it can, actually it is flash why didn't I think of that it's a good counter against this if he decides to attack with it. So he's just going to instantly die. Which I'm fine with. Then I'll get the secret keepers out. Hopefully I get another land. I don't. So. I need to keep the mill going. But I want to get another defender out. Do I get another defender out or do... I can get rid of one of the tokens now if I wanted to, but I don't want to. I need to get more cards out of their hand. We'll get rid of six now. And we're just not going to attack. <clears throat> and I'm getting land starved a little bit here, which is unfortunate. See, they're way ahead of me and land here. Five to two. <laughs> and now he's going to probably buff his dudes. Nope, he's got another... Centaur. Let's see what he attacks with. Because I can block everything here. And I'll, I'll end up taking four. Regardless. I mean, there's no reason he shouldn't attack. I got Vigil. Yeah. I'll just block you. And just take four. Again, land starved. Which is fine. We're going to get the Thieves Guild Enforcer out. Cause you to mill again. And we're going to put the uh, Secret Keeper out. Keep playing that defense. And then we're not going to attack. Really sucks I'm not getting any uh, any lands here. 
but they're down to 30. And he's getting mad. He's probably got some sort of thing that's going to buff his uh, buff his dudes. So I think I'm going to end up... Uh... Alright. The bigger threat probably be the Paradise Druid. Which pro he's probably got a... Um... Actually, it doesn't matter. We're just gonna we're just gonna block. And just that's fine. That's fine. He's down to thirty, and I'm hoping that I can get a land. Can I get a land? I did get a land. All right. So now, what I should do is I'm going to play another Seeker Keeper card. Gonna make you mill four cards. Actually, I should have done this the other way where I'm going to Aether Gust. But I didn't. Would it be better to do Wall of Lost Thoughts? I think it would be. So I need another Defender down. Make you mill six again. And just play Defense. And then no attacks. So I'm at a pretty good pace now. To at least be able to... Uh... Alright, so yep, now he's going to get rid of one, which is fine. I'll just end up doing uh, blocking the centaur. That's fine. I'll just block it. So we're still doing pretty good. Not great. Um, do I want to pay two life for this? I don't think I do. I want to get rid of you. Cause you to mill. We're going to have him put it on the top of his deck, and then I'll mill it with the Secret Keeper. And you're going to put it on the top or the bottom because it's gone regardless. So now we're going to play the uh, Secret Keeper. And we're going to put that centaur in your... And then we're going to play Watery Grave, enter it tapped. 13. We're cutting it very close. You're going to attack with both. Keep playing defense. We're just buying time. That's all we're doing. We're going to take two. Another land. Okay. Wall of Lost Thoughts. How's it mill again? We're getting down there. And then mill four more. We're down to seven. So if I do this, he'll mill four. So, I mean, there's no reason not to. He'll have one card left in his hand, so he has to win. Not this turn, but next turn. Then no attacks. See, now he's on his last card. He has to win this turn. Otherwise, I win. And I've won. Cut it very close. Yeah, we'll play another Drown Seeker. Why not? He has no more cards to mill. And now he loses. Look at that. We'll do one more. One more. Ooh, even got my prize claimed. Maybe I'll do a jumpstart video. Because I tried doing one before with undead uni zombie unicorns as like the two packs I got. And I did badly. Because my con con like comprehension of certain mechanics is just terrible. I need more practice. All right, am I going to go two for three, or am I going to go one for three? I guess one for three. Uh, this isn't a great hand, but we're going to do it anyway. We did get Nightmare Muse, but we can't use it for a very long time. What time is it? Okay, I got plenty of time. I doubt that this is going to go half hour. Knock on wood. Especially if this person takes forever to uh, come and wake up here. So I'm going to throw him for a loop here. I'm going to play a swamp first. Make him think I'm doing something completely different. 
And now he's going to come out with Guild Mage. That's fine. We're going to do this. And we're going straight into Drown Secret. This is what you're against. So I have no real play on turn 3 here other than Asset Scatter. So he's probably not going to attack. He's got some sort of counter in his hand. That's why he's not playing anything. He's got cards to play. He's just not doing it. I don't. See, he's got something. That's why it's paused like this. Nothing I can do. We'll go ahead and see what he does. He's going to put a land down. Or he's like, oh, maybe I should keep going. Yep, I've got nothing. That's fine. We're not getting any milling, which is unfortunate. So now this is where he's going to play his counter. But what are you going to do? We got to actually get some of this removal out of his hand. No, he didn't, surprisingly. So I will draw a card, and now he will... Um... I could do Sweet Oblivion because it still has X, uh, Escape on it. So I'm going to do that. So I technically don't get rid of it. Next turn, 1-2, I can play Ashiok. I'm hoping I can. That would be great. Let's see. Still my turn. Okay. So now... Gotta play something. You gotta have something to at least play two of your three mana. He doesn't. Interesting. Surprised he's not playing anything, but I'm just going to play the uh, Ashiok. This is where he gets countered, but I've got a second one in the hand, so that's fine. And now he'll counter this. He didn't counter it, surprisingly. All right, so what we're going to do... Uh, this is a perfect blocker, so... This guy's creepy. I mean, look at his head. It's just horns and a mouth. So now I've rendered this guy pointless. He'll every time he has to attack, unless he's going to remove it. All right, so that's fine. That's fine. I mean, you're not. We will play this into Secret Keeper, make you mill some cards, get that milling going. And now I've got the defense up. He cannot attack. Play it again. And now we'll play another one. Very good defense. Unless he's got something flying. All right, go ahead. I don't care if you do anything to the Secret Keeper. You gotta buff up that Guild Mage somehow with flying or something, because... That's fine. Prepare to mill. That's two lands. I don't care about those. Lifelink does not matter to me. We're gonna play another one. The defense continues. We're gonna go Drown Secrets. Now I've got enough for an Essex Essence Scatter for whatever he plays next. <laughs> no attacks. And we just wait. This is going extremely well. And he must be getting starved of some sort because he's only had this card out to begin with forever now. 
And we're going to say no. Causing him to mill four. And if you play... Well, he can't play anything else. And he's... Yep. Nothing he can do. It's unfortunate he probably didn't get the cards he needed. But that's just a quick look. I'm sure everyone else has got their own mill deck that's way better and more efficient than this, but... This was the first one I made, and I kind of enjoyed the process. They kind of got me thinking, like, oh, I can do some more stuff like this. But I got some other decks I've tinkered around with. I'm still... Maybe got like three, four, maybe five more to mess around with, at least I've made already. I'll do some more of those later, but thank you all for watching. And I appreciate the time you took to watch me do these silly little videos. Till next time, have a good one, folks. We'll see you real soon.